Hi, this is James from Square Internet with another WordPress tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you something really useful. I'm going to be showing you how to align images and text in WordPress. The first thing you need to do is log in to your WordPress dashboards, and then you need to create a new page or find a draft page that you can use to play around with and follow the steps of the tutorial. So all I've got here is a uh, a blank page. I'm not actually going to publish it, but we can use the preview tool on the page to see what's going on. I'm going to click on the back end editor so that I can use the back end of Visual Composer, which is now WP Bakery Page Builder. I still refer to it as a Visual Composer though, because I've known it as Visual Composer for ages, uh, as I think a lot of people have. So to dive right into it then, let's start with some text alignment. And all I'm going to do is add a row to store some text, first of all. And I'm going to add a text block, again using the Visual Composer backend. So we've got a basic block of text here. I'm also going to add a heading one here. Now let's just preview what this looks like. It's going to be aligned to the left by default. And I'm also going to add an image so that we can cover the alignment of image and text in one go and make it as simple as possible for you. Uh, so let's just see what we've got in the media library. We'll just use this icon from our logo here and again that will be aligned to the left by default so by default things are aligned to the left in WordPress so if you add an element to the page or add something to a row or column it will sit to the left unless you tell it you want it to be center or right aligned so aligning something to the center is the most commonly used alignment tweak in WordPress so I'll show you how to do that first of all. So there's two ways of doing it. At the moment I've got the heading inside the text block. With most Visual Composer themes there are modules for headings as well but if there isn't then just turn part of your text block into a heading. And then we're going to use the the edit button on this text block module to display the text editor and then I'm going to click align center to align the heading and I'm going to highlight the text and do the same on the text I'm just going to preview the results so we can see they've moved from the left to the middle if we really want to see the impact of this though let's stretch the row in the content so that the content can have the full roam of the page, so to speak. So now we can see our heading, our text really are in the center of the page. And it's the same process for aligning an image. You just need to look for alignment. And by default, it's to the left. We're just going to center align the image and the image will then move over to the center of the block of the row there you go so everything's now in the center and it's the same process for moving things to the right you would just select right alignment instead of center alignment like this So nice and easy. I'll show you one more method uh, referencing what I was talking to you about earlier about the heading module. So this theme has a, a heading module built into it. And the other way you can center align text is to look for a typography section on any text related module like this one. 
where the text alignment setting can be found within typography rather than selecting and highlighting the text like we did in the, the text editor. So I'm just going to center align this heading. I'll put the image back to the center as well so that everything looks uniform. And I'll turn this into a subheading. I'll just put it up here. And everything should now be center aligned. There you go. So as you can see, it's a nice and simple process for aligning both text and images in WordPress. It can be done using the text editor on the WordPress page section, or you can be, use the, the built-in alignment functionality on your Visual Composer modules. Whichever method works for you or whichever is available depending on what you're trying to align, whether it's a heading, a block of text or an image. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure you give it a like and share so other people can find the video. Make sure you subscribe for future videos. I'm going to be releasing new videos all the time. Every week I'm putting out a few videos. If you've got any questions about the video, feel free to leave a comment on the video. And if it's something I can help you with, I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you on my next video. Cheers.